Welcome to the channel PDT Express News subscribe to the channel and don't miss the hottest news of the day our today's newsletter includes the following content. The Vogue red carpet was a hit last night, but Young Z, who was not qualified to go, became the biggest winner. The fashion world is bustling again. I'm talking about the Vogue Power of Fashion Festival, crossed out, that had dozens of hot searches last night. Also known as, Vogue Country Stage, Come If You Dare. Half a month ago, a guest list was circulated on the internet, which aroused great expectations. Not only did several generations of domestic entertainment stars gather together, but they also rarely invited the big boss of Vogue headquarters, Anna Wintour, the devil in the fashion industry, to enhance the quality of the entire event. How many celebrities are trying their best to have a relationship with Anna and rise to the top? Then, the Vogue Gala was held as scheduled in Shanghai last night, which shocked audiences across the country. No one expected that the Anna people were here but none of the legendary big flowers came to support the show. Even among the 85 flowers in charge of traffic, only one NI NI attended. The slightly dim starlight smells like a scam. The shabby and crude scenery made people's eyes darken. There is no red carpet. When big celebrities come, they can only walk up the stairs. A few pieces of rags were used as a background board, and those who didn't know it thought they were attending a curtain sale. This photo of Anna, Vogue China editor-in-chief Zhang Ning, and Zhou Dongyu in the same frame was undoubtedly ridiculed by the entire internet. This huge crowd, this chaotic environment, this half-draped curtain. No wonder Zhou Dongyu couldn't laugh after being cheated. I am sure that even the escalator guy next to me was confused. Is this really the level of fashion events held by top domestic magazines? Netizen's enthusiasm for creation is unprecedentedly high, and they have even booked a cosplay theme for next year's Halloween. Gigi said she was looking forward to it. The infield wasn't much better. Stage? It doesn't exist either. Everyone took a microphone and started speaking anywhere, which lowered the standards of the celebrities who were dressed up to attend. No wonder everyone is laughing, whether it is the annual meeting of the pheasant company or the rural wedding scene, they are not so stretched. But what Gigi is most concerned about is the red carpet look. What new looks do the handsome guys and beauties have that I can take a look at? This time, Vogue gave a proposition in advance, stipulating that the dress code could only be Chinese designer brands. The limited choices put your personal temperament and matching skills to the test. Xu Zhu is still very charming, but I really can't understand this patchwork denim style. Are you imitating a gang of beggars? Not only does procrastination weigh heavily on her height, it also ruins her beauty, good figure and her set of multi-million dollar luxury jewelry. The 37-year-old Guatsaijia is also in good condition, but she wears her wet hair back and dresses herself as a female micro-business boss. Vogue also praised it as a refreshing and neat winter messenger. See for yourself, this floor-length coat clearly made her already short stature worse. Li Qin in a pink fairy skirt and Tan Yao in a horse-faced skirt, their looks are too conventional. Search for the same style on a certain store and grab a lot. Seeing Zhou Dongyu and Zhang Zifeng, I could feel the strong wind in Shanghai last night. This is you who dresses up carefully for a banquet but everything goes wrong, and you don't dare to get angry in front of everyone backhand index pointing down. This is you who is shivering in the cold but pretending to be strong backhand index pointing down. However, I still have to praise Zhang Zifeng. Her makeup for recent events has been very good, and she has gradually shed her previous sisterly look. This Reuters photo is even more atmospheric. Give it a try. Miss Qingleng has returned to China to take revenge. 
Red Carpet Queen NINI is still very beautiful and stable when she takes action. Wearing a floral embroidered dress from the M Essential 2024 Spring and Summer series, she looks like a gentle beauty coming out of an ink painting. What's even more rare is that the deep V shape of the original design is retained and there is no seam collar. I love this kind of unscrupulous and generous sexiness. Looking back at the scene and smiling, there is only one word. Saying goodbye to her inappropriate style on the last ELLE red carpet, Dilly Reba is finally beautiful again. This time she wore two sets of Boipé Haute Couture. The rich color scheme is really suitable for this kind of glittering skirt. It gives you the look of a cool goddess of war. The second Chinese classical style look worn inside the dinner party was even more gentle and elegant. With every gesture, he gently grasped the noble temperament. Domestic entertainment beauty goddess Naza once again seconds. A set of feathered see-through dress instantly reminds people of retro socialites in Shanghai. Bold and bright, fairy, and sexy. She walked onto the red carpet, truly swaying. As soon as that breathtaking look came out, the whole audience went crazy. Naren appeared in a sparkling green dress, fresh and dazzling. High emotional intelligence, as beautiful as a forest elf. Low emotional intelligence, as fresh as cabbage just picked from the ground. Then she and Naza also made a cameo appearance at the opening of Vogue's infield, so they were inevitably compared. How to say? Set off by Naren's professional steps, Naza is still more suitable to be a quiet wooden beauty. Li Yechen wore a black velvet custom-made dress with a playful Chinese doll bun. Cool and handsome with a touch of cuteness. Even Anna, who hates all black, couldn't help but ask about the design of this look. The old money style Hui Ing Hong appears. How can she be a female star? It is clear that the owner of a mansion with a net worth of tens of billions hosted a banquet to entertain guests, and he was full of ease and relaxation. On the red carpet, the supermodels never disappoint and deliver high scores without exception. As long as the typhoon is stable enough and the posture is strong enough, the country stage can also be turned into a luxurious show for you. Especially if we switch back to the plus-size international supermodel Shi Mangyao, her ugly skirt cannot stop her from showing off. This is probably how concubine Shi returned to the palace. Then the male celebrities are finally no longer in black suits that are lifeless and sociable. There are also eye-catching looks. Gong Jun dressed up as the national treasure panda, who will save my laughter. Tan Kensi understands what we want to see. In the starting photo, he was wearing a vacuum suit, and some people were surprised by his looming abdominal muscles. On the red carpet, she changed into an oversized pink suit with a deep V and hollow look, which was sexy and sexy. Here at Male Stars, can they at least be curled according to Tan Jiansi's figure and degree of flesh exposure? The most surprising thing is Yu Shur who looks like a future warrior. Big back hair plus gray suit plus black sunglasses, so sassy, cool and special. Attention the world, your robot boyfriend is online and the next flight of stairs looks like a catwalk. Previous second, the ruthless and noble young master. Next second, smiling like the silly son of a landlord. Full of contrast. In general, the star's red carpet performance was generally good this time, and everyone's faults were still concentrated on the host. Since Zhang Yu abdicated two years ago and was replaced by the new editor-in-chief Zhang Ning, it can be clearly felt that Vogue is increasingly unable to hold events. Compared to the last time Anna came to China, it was only eight years ago. Zhang Yu hosted a private welcome banquet for her and was able to invite Wendy Dang, Michelle Yeoh, Li Bingbing, Karina Lau, Zhang Zi, and many other celebrities to accompany her. Not to mention the 120th anniversary event of Vogue in 2012, which was a star-studded event.
On the other hand, nowadays, Zhang Ning can't even get people to hold an annual party, and can't even find a luxury brand sponsor. The specifications have been downgraded from Bulgari and Chanel to Puma, Levi's, and Ji Meng Beauty devices. They still sponsored it because of Anna's face. I wonder what Anna, who had pushed Zhang Ning into the position, would feel after experiencing this gap for herself? What's interesting is that in the past two days, it was revealed that Vogue was recruiting a deputy editor-in-chief of the Chinese version, with almost no difference in authority from that of the editor-in-chief. This move was believed by countless netizens that Anna was already doubting Zhang Ning's ability. The farce-like ceremony of Vogue has also made many netizens question how it deserves to be ranked first among the top five women's magazines. Some people even complained on 12G Surfing, the five major women's magazines should just become the three major ones. Here is a knowledge point. Just two days ago, Hearst Magazine Group took back the domestic copyright of Cosmo plus Esquire. This means that Cosmo and Esquire have officially announced that they have been kicked out of the top five women's magazines and the top two men's magazines. If you don't understand the situation, here's an example from a netizen's sharp comment. Fashion Cosmo without Cosmo is like Michelle Yeoh without Joan. Although many people ridiculed Yang Zi for being a fashion insulator, 22 years after her debut, her first appearance in Fashion Cosmo caused her to close down. But in the turbulent fashion world, being able to successfully pick up the pieces can be considered lucky. In this environment, it is difficult to say whether Vogue can firmly maintain its position as the leading domestic fashion magazine. Next, whether it will continue to plummet or whether it will break the boat and usher in a new breakthrough, we, the Melon Eaters, will wait and see. Yang Zi endorses high-end luxury brands, her fashion value rises again, and she continues to practice her acting skills and become a star. Today is Yang Zi's 31st lunar birthday, and good things continue to happen on this day. First, the red-blooded high-luxury Lentino officially announced Yang Zi as the brand spokesperson and then released the cover preview of Cosmo's December closing annual issue, one of the five major women's magazines, and then, the brand sees in high definition. Fans are extremely excited. Zimei, who started out as a child star, recently became the cover star of a double issue of Esquire. Now she is the spokesperson for a red-blooded luxury brand and has been featured in high-end fashion magazines. She is making steady progress in the fashion industry. This is Yang Zi's glory and what she deserves. Anyone who is familiar with her knows that due to the influence of past impressions, most people still regard Zimei as the kid with a chubby face Xia Shui and family with children. Therefore, Zimei has stepped into fashion every step of the circle is extremely difficult. However, she has not been deliberately concerned about the fashion industry. For many years, her focus has been on acting. While performing a good show, I also harvested flowers blooming along the way. Perhaps, from the moment Song Danden said those words to her, she began to wake up. In 2004, at the age of 12, she participated in Family with Children as one of the protagonists for the first time. Although she has been acting as a sidekick since she was five years old, this is the first time she has acted in a comedy, and she is the protagonist. At the beginning, she was always worried that she would be replaced if she did not perform well, and she would always shed tears secretly. Song Danden, who plays the mother in the play, couldn't bear it. She took Yang Zi's hand and taught her word by word, including intonation, demonstrating and guiding in all aspects. The artist's guidance is all based on real practical experience, which is a skill that cannot be learned in school. During the eight months of filming Family with Children, Song Danden guided Yang Zi through those days that were frightening but full of warm family affection. Therefore, in her heart, Song Danden is both a mentor and another mother. Later, when she asked Song Danden, Do you think I can act again in the future? 
She said earnestly, My child, you are so fat, my mother advises you not to act. This world is so chaotic, with so many beauties. We are not that beautiful. You may be very sad in the future, so why not study hard? In addition, she gained weight during adolescence and her face was covered with acne. No one approached her for filming. People who knew her called her fat and ugly. Low self-esteem and depression once occupied her life. Until three months before the college entrance examination, she couldn't let go of her dream of being an actress, so she made the first major decision in her life, applying for Nortel to become an actor. The first phone call she made after passing the exam was to Son Danden. When Aunt Danden heard the news, she immediately sent her blessings. I really congratulate you, baby. I thought you were ugly at the time, but I didn't expect you to look like this now. At that moment, Young Z, who was affirmed by Song Danden, finally let go of the knot he had felt many years ago and became more confident in facing his future career as an actor. She made up her mind to practice her acting skills and become a capable actor. However, the road ahead has just begun. For Yang Zi, this bizarre entertainment circle has exciting things waiting for her, and there are also many undercurrents. When she was still in college, she collaborated with Hua Jianhua, the most popular and handsome man at the time, and filmed the classic Battle of Changsha. In it, she showed amazing acting skills. Many viewers marveled that the little girl had grown up and her acting skills had also improved. But what is unexpected is that after Battle of Changsha, she once again fell into a situation with no scenes to film. In several dramas, a few days before the filming started, they were informed at short notice that the roles had been changed and she was no longer needed. Because she is not beautiful enough and her legs are not long enough, she was even ridiculed by her agent, it is not easy to get to this point. Yang Zi once again fell into self-doubt and began to consider whether she should continue to be an actor. Fortunately, her acting skills accumulated over the years saved her. At the end of 2015, the crew of Qing Yunji found her. She took over the filming of her first costume drama, playing a supporting role for Zhao Liying. Relying on the role of Lu Sweki in the play, Yang Zi used her outstanding performance to open the hearts of the audience of costume dramas and open up a new chapter in her acting career. Later, there were Sweet Honey as Ashes as Frost, Dear, Beloved, Agarwood as Crumbs, For the Rest of My Life, Please Give Me More, Sauvignon Blanc, which became popular all over the country. In recent years, Yang Zi has almost averaged one hit drama every year which not only made her extremely popular, but also made her co-stars popular. Yang Zi's achievements have impressed the film and television industry, and many screenwriters and directors have appointed her to play a certain role. She also has more room to choose scripts. The same thing that Yang Zi dare not underestimate is the fashion industry. In the past, Zime's businesses were almost all national brands with affordable prices. But recently, some high-end luxury brands have also set their sights on her, and fashion magazines are also vying to invite her to appear on their covers. Being able to enter the fashion industry is all because of Young Zi's ability to handle dramas, and of course, her unique personal charm. Anyone who follows Yang Zi can see that she is becoming more and more beautiful, more and more confident, and her state is becoming more and more relaxed. But the only thing that remains unchanged is her awe and dedication to acting. Before filming, she would hire a line teacher, an etiquette teacher, etc., and learn with an open mind. She would learn at least one skill every time she filmed a film. Whenever her new drama comes out, the audience can always see the progress and growth of Yang Zi's acting skills. When her new look comes out, we can always see her breakthroughs and attempts. Along the way, she is always learning, always making breakthroughs, and always innovating and creating. She will not be complacent about the results she has achieved and stand still. We look forward to Yang Zi continuing to practice her acting skills 
continue on her career path, and bring us more surprises. This concludes our news section. Welcome to leave your thoughts in the comments area. Let's discuss together. Welcome and don't forget to give me a like and follow thank you all.